I used Sam to have one. <laughs> this box is very enticing. Oh, very enticing. Some vapor rub. Let's see this box. Once again. Oh wait. There's a lot of jewelry in here. You might want to bring this in land. Man, you need school. What you saw is what you reap. The price of even making it, you know it's not cheap. Never mind the lights, you can sacrifice sleep. Put your best out there, see results in a week. Preach. I don't think they know. All right, what's up, everyone? Good morning. Hope everyone's having a good month up to Christmas. Uh, we're in the Christmas spirit now. We have our wreath on the front of the truck. But. Today we are trying to fulfill all of our merch orders, so we had to order more stickers, Freedom to Dream stickers, so we get them all from Copiers Plus here in Ocean City. Our friends Bob and Shane Matthews own and run this facility, and their dad has the other one, but they print the best uh, vinyl, stickers, everything. The thing that we put on the back of the Explorer, uh, they wrap cars, they do billboards, they do it all, um, and it's really professional. So we're gonna get our stickers and then we're gonna go get a battery for the Swiss Army watch. Try and put that on eBay in working condition if we can. And then we're going to give you guys an awesome surprise today. We're gonna be opening up a dresser that is just filled. It was filled with whatever was in it, wrapped, blanketed, wrapped again, and then put on a pallet, put in storage, or wherever it was for years and then they sold it to us so we don't even know what's in it it's going to be a bit surprise for us surprise for you guys and that's our big claim for the day what's up sammy J? what's up guys and gals how are you i'm great I'm ready to get these stickers all right let's go ahead. all right here it is across from mcdonald's and that's 9th street ocean city new jersey copiers plus The lonely Hi. stickers. Picking up? Yeah, those Freedom to Dream stickers right there. Sweet. Alright, here's our Alright, we got this basketball that we got for free. And we know that they have a basketball hoop right here. And I gave this one kid a skateboard here before, so... Should I just throw it in the yard? Because no one's out here. I mean, they're definitely going to use it. Just put it right there. Or, yeah. I'll just put it on the hoop, like on the back of it. You know what I mean? It needs to be blown up, but it's usable. Oh, shit. All right. All right, so we're in Ocean City, and there is a thrift store right by where we just were, so we're going to check it out. Probably store but you never know unless you go and Sammy wants this frog out of the trash it's all nasty it's so dog filled piece of, little piece of scrap oh, that's their trash bin wow look at this storage facility that they have that's nice actually that's a Verizon wireless thing right there that's what that is. Very festive this year. Right? like a big lot of Playmoboy right here. Playmobil right here and it looks like it says 1995. I can't really see but it's the whole box for five. I think I'm gonna get it. So it was on the front of yeah. a gun. Yeah. Painted over bayonet knife. 
with no no markings on it though. They are from the 1950s. Um, that one's from... That, this one's from Japan? There's one in there. What I'm at, it's actually... This one here with the claw hand? I'm gonna get this one too. And they're, they're selling online for about $60 each. That's a lot. This one's really cool. That one is from Germany. I'm gonna get them. No worries on your limit. Yeah, no worries now, right? The original, this, yeah. yeah, okay. It's like a, um, like a bird foot claw, it looks like, holding a ball. Yeah. All right, I got two antique, well, probably vintage knives and a whole big thing, Cowboys and Indians Playmobil, which I probably had some of when I was a kid, because any young male kid, who had Playmobil knows the joy of playing with it when they were like five or even ten. Getting your baby fixed up. Yeah, oil change, transmission fluid change, oil filter, air filter, everything. Breaking the bank over here. We're just keeping it up to date so that we don't have a serious problem down the line in the future. Really Should we get a free car wash since this was so expensive? Well, have to do the maintenance on the babies. Yeah, what do they do just put, turn the car on and then put it in there? I thought they were gonna rip our wreath off though. Yeah, freshening it up. The fresh but they gave us a free car wash, so it's cool. Got another big dog coming this through. raised up though. Yeah. It's almost too big dog. All right, so for like the last hour, we packed all the packages from our merch site, which doesn't seem like a lot, but takes a long time. And now they're going out. Up, up to date on all the merchandise now and everyone that ordered now at least will get it before Christmas probably in the next few days still will all right we said we were gonna do it so we're gonna do it we're going to show you guys what is in the dresser I'm dying to see what's in this dresser oh yeah and check this out you have a knife in here Nice. Or anything to cut it with? Or just these keys? Don't maybe? use the keys. Ooh. What? What? It's plastic. Whoa, not my Playmobil. Alright, I'll do it. I'll do it. Indian set. Bin included. Five dollars. Second chance crystal. So, we got today. Whole bag of Native Americans, totem pole trees, cows. Are those old? Vultures. Or no? From 1996. Hmm. Those are in really good condition. Very good condition. Like clean. Like they never played. Okay. Them. 1976. Geobra. Is that true? That would be crazy old. And it's in such good condition. They never use them ever. These are for collecting. We have all of the tomahawks and everything. Tomahawks. The little rifles and hats, the snake, the crow, the raven, treasure chest, even the blanket, the tree, everything. You can't really see them in the bag, so you're going to have to take them out and well, show I'm gonna them. Yeah, I'm going to show separately. pictures probably. This goes to the horse and buggy. So, yeah. Uh, that's cool. TP, 1989. You just holding a sneeze? Uh, no, I was choking on a uh, licorice <laughs> root. Licorice root? We got it all. Look at this. 1994. So, yeah, they're all dated differently. I'm going to put it up in a lot, though. I think we scored big. For five bucks, you could never go wrong with this set. But we're going to try and do the dresser now before it gets dark, and then I'll show you guys this after. Is it working? Yeah. Um, I think, I don't know, because you thought that that sewing machine was a dresser, and there's nothing in that sewing machine, but... Spider webs. It's just dust and dust. So, I don't know.
Is it working? So, we have this dresser that is in the back of the trailer, and Turner claims that he was hearing stuff jiggle. He thinks that it was taped with stuff inside of it. I personally have a feeling there's nothing in there. And if there is... You hold it and commentate on me pulling it out. So we went to the auction. We got all the pallets. If you guys have been watching, we unboxed all of the stuff. Well, I missed a two boxes here. One that might be filled with Xbox games. About to get to that in a second. But there was a bunch of dressers, like so, that were just boxed up wrapped up like this you guys just saw how i took it down from the trailer this is how they looked but some of them actually have the contents of what was left in them when the company came or whoever put them in storage or whatever they were and they're just taped together and the stuff still in the drawer so i'm going to try my best to show you guys what's inside the dresser and hopefully we find some good stuff because this is just a the mystery unboxing of the dresser which could be super creepy or it could be really good so we're gonna say dresser number three on the cart on the trailer swearing in my mind that it was filled i thought it was that one i didn't know which one it was they all look the same but i could have sworn that one of these dressers was filled with stuff These are insane to open. This dresser is green. It's kind of cool. It's not wrecked. This one's actually kind of nice though. Ish. Let's see if there's anything in them. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Well, at least we know dressers are a quick sell. Do we know that? I mean, Why would they put quite a few. tape on all these? Uh, Not so much. So. This is pretty nice, this one, actually. But no, there's nothing in it. Nothing? Alright. So I was so crazy. Thank you. I can post them. Yeah. So we got the idea that there was like one of these dressers was filled with stuff. Turns out it wasn't. They were all empty. And I guess it was just the weight of whatever I was moving around. Like this one's something too. It must go. It's like a hutch of some sort. I'm just leaving this one wrapped for now though. But look at this. This. Check this out. This is not that bad. And this last tote, it's filled up with like probably games. Like, look at this. This is Christmas stuff. But look at all these games. Didn't even see these in here before. And they're actually in there. So I'm going to bring all these games inside. Look at this. Nice. Games, games, games. Oh, that is a first step. Jewelry box. Shall we open? Yeah, let's get in here. So 
Sorry, the camera's shaking. It's because I am. It's so cold. What's this? Cell phone. I used Samsung. to have one of this. This box is very enticing. Very enticing. Some vapor rub. Let's see this box. Wait, there's a lot of jewelry in here. You might want to bring this in Landis' room. All right. All right, we didn't find what we thought was in the drawers, but we found this box that was forgotten. There's eight, eight Xbox games, which I'm not an expert on games, so I have to look each one up. And then a box of mysterious jewelry, as well as some chargers and purple alcohol this is trash probably but yeah. we're gonna take the that wooden box into the back room and show you guys what's in it little journal locked probably gonna go in the trash as is I don't like to read journals that's weird something in here though hold on midnight harmony wolf plate, plate. Put -put. Pretty cool. Very cool. That's for the flea market. And then this is a house phone. Two house phones. Flea market. Put this stuff in the shed. All right, so this is what we got left out of the eight pallets. Lots of stuff that wasn't very good. Lots of stuff that was good. So the dresser that I first took out, which is a wood dresser, that's gonna be a Facebook marketplace sale. This green dresser, which also is gonna be Facebook Marketplace. And then we have a small hutch, little cabinet shelf thing that's right there. Still wrapped, a mirror still wrapped. And then this, that the drawers ended up in a totally different pallet and we didn't get them. So this is going to the trash too. It's done. So that's it. That's everything finally so gonna just try and sell these dressers and stuff probably open this mirror tomorrow and that tomorrow and post it and post these two dressers tonight and then that last box of jewelry that last box of jewelry we found we're gonna show you guys right now in a minute I'm gonna take that out to the bulk trash and then whoo all right the box that we never knew existed. All right, so this thing's a little too much. That's just keychains. It's just a little on it. This is cute, though. It's like a little, little costume jewelry. It's really nice, though. Yeah. Not bad. Keys. On hoop earrings. Hoop earring keys. Okay. This is where you get down to business. That's the bling bling right there. That one is, right? That thing's cool. Magnifying glass. Wow. This is probably gold plated. Is that heavy? It's cool and it's gold. 14 karat gold. Oh, it's gold? Mm hmm. What? The Jesus. Piece. Jesus. That's the Jesus piece. Straight up. Is it 14? Oh, yeah. It's 14 the, the medallion is at least. That's a come up. That thing is really cool. And this is 14 carat as well. Is it a lot? I don't know anything about gold. That's, that's the come up piece right there. I'm starting to think that's gold too. Gold chain and Right, Jesus, there's, please. There's, there's no way that there's this much gold in here. There is possible. Alright. That's just like... Uh, these are cool. Yeah, they are really cool. I'm sorry, this is like tangled. They're earrings, though. Oh my gosh. These are like the gnarliest earrings. And they're so heavy. But look, there's two of them. Obviously. 
can you say? Mm -hmm. They're like dragons. They're dragons. But... Alright, and these ears are super heavy too. Uh, earrings we're looking at. Pretty good, right? I was just trying to see if they're silver, but that's true. There's earrings all in these things, too. Ooh. And like these earrings are really great. This box is a straight heavy claim. Oriental Trading Company, I remember that. Mm. Hey, look at this, dude. Little eagle guy. Little cross earrings. There's a lot of earrings. What's that? Vampire teeth. Alright, dragons and vampires. It's a little elephant. Look at that. Peace sign. A lot of it's more costume-ish. Yeah. But there's silver mixed in with this stuff. We have to just literally go through all of it. These are cool. No way, though. These are super cool. This is insane. Yeah, that's where the music box thing this is, is in here. This is actual silver. 925, and this is the other one. Dude, look at this thing. This thing is epic. Oh, could be diamonds in here, huh? There could be. Look at this thing. What is this, a scorpion? This thing is so cool. This is the come up, come up though. This little guy. This might be like watching. Oh man. So keep those in there. Look at this dude. This out, cause it's... Remember that guy? Isn't that from Hey Arnold? I see him. That's a girl, but. Helga? I know, I don't know who that is. Looks like gold. Probably is. Those. Can't see any markings indefinitely though. An arrow. Bone arrow. Arrowhead. Can That's probably silver. Yeah. Feels like that. It's this. Seems like it would be. Religious memorabilia to the T. Look at all this. Definitely some silver and gold in here. You can see it. Yeah. Nine two five. Something. JC. Something. something. It might be white gold. That's what they usually make those out of. Oh, yeah. What's it marked? Or is it not? Because they do make like. It says SMS. Oh. I said last box, last box. Alright, last box. So we found all this jewelry though, but we didn't even know we had. Like Lots of gold and silver too. Weird. Salt water pearls. There's... Salt water pearls. Not bad. Salt water pearls. At least we know what to call it if we post it. Mm-hmm. All right, so 
there was a mixture of real gold, real silver, and then just like costume jewelry. But people buy the costume jewelry too, so that's really good. Um, I didn't see this at first. This was cool. There's some trash, like straight trash, but it was a big come up. Yes, it is, and I'm just gonna do a jewelry lot, so. Corner here. This That's is not getting way. sold ever, probably. And this is silver and maybe white gold, this one, I think. And these are silver for sure. And we have to inspect deeper, but we didn't want to sit here for three hours and bore everyone. So we're just going to go through it in our time and just post some of it as we go. These probably are super cool. Are these earrings? How would you even wear these? Yeah, those are like... um for real, just for like a photo shoot. Like if your ear is strong enough to hold these glass boulders, woo, you got some strong ears, but they're cool. All right, what's up everyone? So yesterday we went out to a thrift store, you guys saw it, and we scooped up some really cool stuff. Uh, I have the Playmobil starting to be displayed for you for uh, the eBay post right down here. There's a lot of it. There's like three, four full sets, setups, and then like 12 characters, like action figures, like this. There's more Native Americans than there are cowboys. And then there's this whole thing of little birds and uh, like the the props that go with the characters. And then three horses that have saddles and then these two that don't but maybe the saddles are in there we have a horse drawn wagon and then like this guy who's really awesome he's a vulture but i really wanted to show you guys this because these are the kinds of items that are really really collectible and super hard to find so we got two knives. I paid $10 each for them, which I didn't think was too bad. Um, so here they are. Okay, so what I was saying in the video last night was a bit dark when we were opening the box. Um, but you can see what we got. And the main subject of the video was this. Oh, I'm trying to do the best focus that I can. It is a 14 karat gold chain that fits nicely around my neck and a Jesus head with the, you know, like the sun kind of thing around his head. And I really think um, Lit Art by Me was messaging me on Instagram. So thank you because I did see it the same way that you saw it. And I do really think that this is a sign and there is signs and there's messages everywhere around us every day that we usually don't take into account because we're too busy or they just seem like a coincidence or something that randomly happened. But I'm taking this one to heart as a sign of good things to come at the end of the year. And this was kind of like a little memento or a little sign of meaning that you guys are doing the right thing and just continue on your true path because it's working and it's providing you all with happiness. So I'm gonna keep it. I'm not selling this, so a lot of people already asked about it. It's not for sale, it's staying with me. And this other piece that's marked 725, I didn't know if it was gold or silver, but I knew it was a little bit of value to it. It's actually wound up now, a little bit. But these were the two, as of so far, best finds from the box because I haven't gone through it extensively. So there might be other scores in there, but this little guy too, it's like a little heart wrapped sterling silver piece with uh, most likely just gems, but that's pretty cool. And it says on the other piece, 925 Italy, so made in Italy. Uh, yeah, just wanted to show the the claims more clearly. So, cool knives, cool jewelry. Yesterday was a good day. And I'm going to show you guys the Playmobil, but keep pushing everyone. Because we thought we, uh, you know, never found anything as good as this necklace. 
of gold in all the years that we've been doing this, but yesterday we did. So over time, you will eventually find really good stuff that even is so good, you might just want to keep it because we paid so little for the pallets and we already made back our money and have so much other stuff to sell that why would I not keep this? Uh, because it's uh, something that would be just special to me and could be forever. So here's the Playmobil. I'm gonna set it up better than this. But so far, this is all the stuff that we scooped for five bucks too. This whole spread right here. Well, obviously not this, but a little hot, all these, cool totem pole which maybe could go in here. So yeah, score. We're stoked. I'm going to take some better pictures of this stuff and post it up. But thanks for watching, guys. Have a blessed rest of your day. Okay, so one more thing real quick. Sorry, guys, I caught it, but I went back online and started searching. This person has the same German dagger, actually in worse condition than mine, posted on Etsy. For $72, free shipping, and they have the title of it, Vintage S. Stern Company, Germany, Corium Dragon Claw Black Forest Knife Dagger, belt, leather sheath. So, yeah, you could put this on your belt. It actually does have that little thing. It's actually a really cool knife, so I hope to sell ours for close to 70 and then this one doesn't have the little things on it. 1955 is the ad I'm seeing here. And they're selling just the the just the knife, Black Forest hunting knife. Yeah, that's what it is. And world famous Corium hunting knives just arrived from Sullinger, Germany. Sullingen, Germany. Really, really cool. So they actually have three different ones that they sold. So this was, uh, I guess, mass produced at one point. Um, but they're selling just the old advertisement for $13. So now I know what it is. I can post it. So this is the jewelry box that we got in one of the pallets and this is probably one of the biggest scores we got out of it because there is real gold and real silver mixed in here. Um, a lot of a lot of gold surprisingly. So we have to still go through it and separate it from like the costume jewelry and the good good but this is a score so we're stoked.